stop. Stop sharpening your chainsaw all wrong. My grumpy lumberjack is gonna show you the easy and quick way to sharpen your blade with one, yes, one tool is all you need. I'm gonna sharpen the saw, cause it's dull. Yeah. I'd put a 20 inch bar on that saw a while ago, so the chain I got on there right now has been sharpened about eight times already, so it's not getting down, but it still cuts. But but I don't know, here, put it, no, I'm gonna put in the vise out here, cause you can see better. It's getting wore down pretty good there, but anyways, it's still cutting. In the old days, I used to just use a straight file like this. You'd go like that. You just, you just went across, made a stroke, and then a couple of passes. My dad always said that you had to lift up on the last pass, give a lift up on it to get, get that little tip. Then in the early 80s, they'd come out with these little guides. Huh? Had all the, you see all the, the angles on it, 35 degrees and 30. and So you had to put that on there. And, and then you kept your angle if there's 35 degrees, you kept that thing straight. You didn't want to go like that or it wouldn't be the right angle, but you'd give it a stroke like that and 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 uh, not put not, not, not wouldn't let you get too deep. You used to call what they call shark's teeth when you get too deep on them. But you still had to, you still always had to, had to shave down the well, I call them drags or rakers to do that. Once you once you sharpened the the tooth, you had to lay the uh, the depth gauge or on there and you have to give us a couple of strokes there to get it to get it down to the so the because a, a tooth doesn't uh, a tooth doesn't cut it shaves the wood uh, yeah. it, it doesn't dig in but if this thing's too too high it won't shave deep enough and if it's too low then it'll it'll be too aggressive and it'll yeah. it'll uh, dig in too much so then other guys used uh, grinders I did buy a grinder once I didn't really like it very much so I gave it to my friend and then uh, I kept using this tool. And then the guy, then my one buddy came in here. He said I threw my grinder out because I bought this new tool from Still. And uh, he said it's 50 bucks. But he said I really like it. He said I threw my grinder right out. He said I don't use it anymore. So I said, well, I'm going to buy one of those. Yeah. So I was over in Hanover one day and I bought one. And the guy said they work really good. And everything they sell is good because <laughs> they want to sell it to you. But, and, uh, I think it was fifty-two dollars with tax, and it's got uh, a big two files. You know, they two uh, there's a, that 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 square file does your does your rakers. Right. Yeah. And then there's your the other the other two files. They uh, like ones you do one side and you got to flip the saw and do the other side, so they're in the right way. Now, so they got you got to make sure they're right in place there. And you can buy replacements. I yep. Think? Yep, I've already replaced, you replaced the little, I, I, I had this thing for two years, I replaced these little ones probably a dozen of times, but the, the square one, I'm still using the square one, it's still, I flipped it over, I flipped it over the other day, so, cause it, but it's still, it doesn't take much, uh, much off it doing the drags, but uh, the other ones, they get, they get wore. Yeah. Not this thing here. I imagine the teeth are harder. Well, they're hard teeth. Stills make good chains, and they're good steel. And you got And usually, I used to say you only get two sharpens out of a out of a file, and you had to and you had to uh, wow. put a new file on. They're only a buck and a half or two bucks a piece for a file, but, but right. now you've got two of them in here. Yeah. So I don't know. I just use this, and I really like it. But there's arrows on it. You got to make sure, like you got to make when you get on there, you got to make sure that's going the wrong way because you got to make sure that. It, so you got to flip this over. It'll be this side. So there's your. There's your arrow. See how it's in the it's in the tooth there now. Now that you gotta, and you see how that that center one, that square file will touch that drag the right at the right right angle and the right uh, depth. And and you just gotta make sure this thing's square. Don't do any of this going up like crooked like that. Like make sure it's not sitting like that when you're pushing it or or like that. Make sure it's perfectly perfectly parallel like that. And you just give it a. I give it two or three rubs. It depends how much it needs. I, I like to just give it a couple of rubs, and then everybody says you got to give the same amount of strokes in each one. But I, this thing should measure the depth of that. And what I always do, this this file will wear out in spots, so you got to give it a little, give it a little half turn, or, or maybe an eighth of an inch of a turn, and as you go every once in a while, so it'll yeah. it'll rub it on a new spot. And I, I, a lot of people don't do this, but I do it. I use a file brush, and I every once in a while I'll, I'll kind of give them all a good. Get all that stuff. It'll last a lot longer if you get all the 
it's a little oh, so filings out and yeah it's, it's a good it's a good i think it's getting pretty worse probably <laughs> pretty old but anyways so then you just keep going till the end of the line can't be burning through wood with a dull blade it's hard in the clutch it's hard in the motor it's hard in everything hard in the bar yep. take the time and sharpen it and how many sharpenings do you get out of the blade well, this has probably been sharpened eight. This is probably the ninth time in this one, but I, I sharpen them every day, pretty much. Just give them a little, I don't take a whole bunch off. Some guys just cut and cut and cut, and then they got to sharpen them right back. There's a, they get old, and they, yeah. sometimes they'll break, break on you. Not very often, but usually you'll break, you'll break you out there. There's, there's a tooth missing right there. See him coming along, this and it broke off. Oh, yeah. See, so you just skip that, and it'll, it'll still cut. It's just not going to cut like a new one, but you know as well get everything you can out of it because they're expensive little buggers, and they're, yeah. Once you're done, you just throw them out. They're just in, the, in this scrap metal, so not good for anything else. The odd time you'll break, you'll break a a rivet and the chain will fly apart, but not not that often. I know a lot of guys put a put a little magic, a little marky spot where they started, but I can kind of see where the filings are where, they, where I started. Got a rough idea. Yeah. Got two more here. about it for that side now you got to flip it over because the teeth are going the, the angle the other way <clears throat> this tooth's getting wore down pretty good on this side now you there's your arrow for the other way now you got you got to flip it over you got to you got to know the the right way to get to get that one Otherwise the fire would just be fire. Well, you'd be backwards too. And a lot of guys, like they, you see them dragging it back like that. That's a no-no. You just got to go ahead and just give it a little lift. None of, none of this. None, none of that. <laughs> I see guys doing that all the time. It's hard in the file too. all sharpened and ready to to cut like I say that's nine sharpeners out of that tooth so it's not or that blade so it's not going to cut like a a new uh, blade but it'll cut good enough for what I want especially when I'm just cutting cedar but this is going to be ash we're cutting it here so just to see see how sharp it is I get my earmuffs oh, yes. be deaf just got to let her warm up for a minute I haven't, haven't started today We'll try across the angle cut here too. stay sharp for a while and yeah. like I say that's a if that was a newer blade it'd be cut more, but those still nice chips coming off that they're nice big chips like look at the nice with the grain cut you can see the nice fluffy chips you got to see you don't want to see you don't want to see saw like they're all fine sawdust that's, that's a sign of a dull saw yeah but uh I don't know it's, yeah, that's cool. just that's just a bit of hardwood ash that I use for firewood I usually cut cedar so it's a lot softer than that but it's good enough for what I want so I like it, yeah. Yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot because, uh, I th like I say, I never I had to look for this this morning. I, I never use any of this anymore except, the f except for the the file cleaner. But all these things here, I had a hard time finding them this morning to show them to you because that's why I, I never ever use them anymore. I, 
used to have two or three of them in my tool toolbox wow. all the time, but now no more. 